Why do we love sports? We love sports for all the amazing doors they have opened for us in our lives. Playing sports have allowed us to travel the world, make new friends, and experience new cultures. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most popular sports in the whole world, volleyball. The sport volleyball originated in the United States and is now just beginning to achieve the type of popularity in the US that it has received on a global basis, where it ranks behind only soccer among participation sports. In 1895, William G. Morgan, an instructor at the Young Men's Christian Association or YMCA in Holyoke, Mass, decided to blend elements of basketball, baseball, tennis, and handball to create a game for his classes of businessmen which would demand less physical contact than basketball. He created the game of volleyball at that time called Minternet. For Morgan, the game was fit for the gymnasium or exercise hall but could also be played outdoor. The play consisted of any number of players keeping a ball in motion from one side to the other over a net raised 6 feet and 6 inches above the floor. Play is started by a player on one side serving the ball over the net into the opponent's field or court. The opponents then, without letting the ball strike the floor, return it and it is in this way kept going back and forth until one side fails to return the ball or the ball hits the floor. The side serving the ball earns points when the opposite side either fails to return the ball or allows the ball to hit the floor. During a demonstration game, someone remarked to Morgan that the players seemed to be volleying the ball back and forth over the net and perhaps volleyball would be a more descriptive name for the sport. Timeline of significant volleyball events In 1900s, a special ball was designed for the sport. In the Philippines in 1916, an offensive style of passing the ball in a high trajectory to be struck by another player, the set and spike, were introduced. In 1917, the game was changed from 21 to 15 points. The three hits per side and back row attack rules were instituted in 1920. In 1922, the first YMCA national championships were held in Brooklyn, New York. 27 teams from 11 states were represented. It became clear in 1928 that tournaments and rules were needed. The United States Volleyball Association was formed. The first U.S. Open was staged as the field was open to non-YMCA squads. In 1930s, the first two-man beach volleyball game is played in Santa Monica, California. On April 1947, the Federation International de Volleyball was established. Representatives from 14 nations from Belgium, Brazil, Czechoslovakia, Egypt, France, the Netherlands, Hungary, Italy, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Uruguay, the USA, and Yugoslavia met in Paris under the leadership of France, Paul Livod, to set up the association that would govern volleyball at the international level. Libaud assumed the role of FIVB's first president, a position he held on to till 1984. The first volleyball world championships for men was held in 1949 in Prague and in 1952 for women in Moscow. FIVB has seen grown into becoming one of the biggest sporting organizations in the world with 222 affiliations bodies. While the World Championships continues to be the mega attraction for the game, the FIVB has added events like the FIVB World League, the FIVB World Grand Prix, the FIVB World Cup, and the FIVB Grand Champions Cup to its roster over the years apart from eventually becoming an Olympic sport. With an international body to look after the sport and its growing popularity, Indoor Volleyball was granted Olympic status in 1957 by the International Olympic Committee. And today, people all over the world play volleyball. Research shows volleyball is one of the top three most popular sports for women to play in high school. However, people of all ages find enjoyment in recreational volleyball as its popularity continues to grow. So that's it. That's the history of the one of the most popular sports in the world, volleyball.